my name's Helen Conlon and I am a recent graduate from Newcastle University in England and I am now one of the lionfish researchers here at the Telemarine Research Centre. And my research is focused on lionfish as they're actually an invasive species here in the Western Atlantic. So the lionfish were originally from the Indo-Pacific and they've made their way over to the Western Atlantic as a really pretty fish and they're very popular with the aquarium trade. And then through accidental and purposeful releases, they made their way into the Western Atlantic and they have no natural predators. This has enabled them to inhabit a really broad area. So one study by Stephanie Green actually showed that um, lionfish can reduce native species biomass by 65%. So management of this invasion is really critical um, and that brings me back to my research. So we're focusing on aggregations of lionfish, you often find them in groups um, and this could be due to gathering to reproduce uh, or they could be hunting together um, but no one really knows what initiates that group formation, whether it's a visual cue so they're seeing each other or a chemical cue. So they're getting olfactory cues, they're smelling each of them. So we're using um, the lab here to use visual and chemical cues in order to determine which of these um, has that larger influence for that initiation of the group. And we hope that we can use these results in order to potentially help trap designs so you could potentially um, work out how they aggregate and use that to remove um, groups from areas that you can't get to in recreational means.